Coming up right now, here we go again. Alaska Airlines flight carrying pets arrives with its cargo door wide open. This as the airline also faces a billion dollar lawsuit. Also coming up, it's a frightening moment caught on camera. A silverback gorilla charges at zookeepers trapped inside of an enclosure in front of a terrified crowd. Ooh. A little bit later on, see why DJ Khaled is actually facing a little bit of backlash as he gets carried away <laughs> with his Air Jordans. Oh, if we could only travel like this. <laughs> Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. Hey, hey Mitch English here. Welcome to Daily Flash. So glad to have you here. And uh, thank you for turning on your TV and yes. watching us. Uh, we'll be checking in with Matt Do a little bit later on. Matt, have you turned on the TV recently? Anything new? I, I have. It's an older show that the wife has dragged me into watching. Ooh. Have you ever seen Twin Peaks? <gasps> Just watching oh, it, right? Just watching it. No, this. I'm on. I'm on the last two episodes. What's right happening? Now. The original oh, or the remake? The original, the original. so far. The, the, back I, in 1990, I, uh, we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we started watching that. We watch it every night before we go to bed, and Why we never is, make oh it. Oh my through. god, it's terrifying. It, it makes no <laughs> sense, but. It, it, it was such a different movie back in the, a TV yeah. show back in the uh, 90s that um, it, it, you look back on it now and you kind of see a little bit of brilliance in it as well. But it, it's soap operas at night with science fiction. and Yes. Well, Leah has a tattoo from the show on. So, like, yeah. So she's really? Like, yeah, she's she's been, what's her tattoo? Uh, it's on her wrist. You can't see it. It's Does it say Twin it, Peaks? It, no, it? it's, a li it's like the carpet from this one scene. It's like squiggly lines or the oh. No, you're thinking of the, no, she probably, I think, has the one from The Shining. The, the no, 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 it's Twin Peaks. Okay. It's where the little oh, guy okay. is like dancing in the room with the girl. It's like it, I know. It, I know. It's just, I'm like I don't get it. <laughs> now, see, Twin Peaks in Florida means something else. That's yes. what I was going to say. Well, they're everywhere. <laughs> that so true. Yes. scenic views. So, and Matt has, is going to get a, a tattoo of, of those Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Dark Wing. Yeah. Maybe. So Dark, the Dark TV Peaks. show is what Matt's talking yeah. about, not the restaurant. Yeah. He's a married man. Have you heard about this grandma who's getting grief from her kids about taking her grandkids to Disney? Oh, how can you? So get this. The parents call grandma up and say, hey, we've got a destination wedding in Mexico we need to attend. Can you watch the kids while we're away for a week? Sure. She goes, okay, this is kind of last minute, but I'll do my best. I've got other things planned, but I'll help you out. She takes the kids, right? She forgets that she has a party she's supposed to go to at Epcot. So she's like, okay, well, since I've got the grandkids, I'll just take them with me to Disney. Well, come to find out, her kids are furious that grandma took the kids to <laughs> Disney for their first Disney visit. They're like, that Disney first should have been with us, uh, not with you, grandma. Uh, okay. And she's like, wait a second, I'm babysitting your kids. I had other plans. I'm just taking the kids there to keep them busy. You ungrateful, grateful. Listen, first off, and that is a grandparent's responsibility is to yes. spoil their kids no matter what. Yes. Uh, and the rules don't count. The rules you made up at, at home, they don't count at grandma's house. Having four kids, <laughs> five kids, actually, it's a totally different. When you go to grandma's house, they, they live by different rules. But altogether. what about the, the kids I think it's horrible. first? Do, do, you, do you disagree? Or do you, are you surprised that the parents were upset that they didn't get to take their kids to Disney first? And that's why they're upset. They should grandma. let that go by all means. I think it's something that you go, hey, what a great experience a, you, you had. Well, Matt, you're the Disney guy. I yeah. mean, is it? I'd be pretty upset, but that's me because I'm a Disney nut. So I'd be like, no, 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 this is my thing. But I mean, it's also, hey, thanks for paying for it. <laughs> that's the point I would have said. It's like, yeah, look, it, right? ain't, it ain't cheap, man. But if you're asking grandma to watch your kids for a week I, I and think, she's trying to keep them busy in Florida, I think it should be, all right, you're going to watch it. But remember, no Disney, okay? <laughs> they should have said that because if you don't want your kids to eat cereal for dinner, you tell the kids, all right, that, and they'll go, all right, well, I'll pop you. Nothing worse than dinner. telling your kids no Disney when it's in the backyard and you can see the Magic Castle <laughs> back true. there. Interesting stuff there. Let's jump to the skies where Alaska Airlines now at the center of another in flight drama after a plane door landed with the cargo door wide open. And family pets were actually flying in the cargo hold. And thankfully, none of them were hurt. Probably freaked out, though. A plane was flying in from Cabo, excuse me, Las Cabos, Mexico. Alaska Airlines said in a statement there was no indication the door was open during the flight. While Ooh. the company appeared to downplay any issues, aviation experts say that the cargo door opening on its own, yeah, that's a major issue. <laughs> 
Alaska Airlines made headlines back in January after a door bolt came off during a flight from Oregon to Southern California. Both Boeing and Alaska Airlines are already now in a $1 billion lawsuit over plane safety. Oof, it goes boy. to show you again, and the good news is no one got hurt. Yeah. Right? No animals, nobody got right. hurt out of it, but goes to show you that uh, especially Boeing, who's been the last five, 10 years have been really going through a lot of mm -hmm. issues with their airplanes, what's happening altogether. What's what's scary to think is somebody did a recent report on just the age of airplanes themselves, mm -hmm. how long they've been in the air, how often they've been used, and we're sort of at the tail end of a lifespan of several fleets of airplanes. But we've sort of taken it for granted because it's always sort of been, well, the airplanes are there, they go, they're built, whatnot. But a lot of them are now reaching their retirement stage. Yeah, and, you, and you don't realize it because you go, I mean, this plane was made in the 1970s. Well, how did it yeah. have TV and internet in it? Yes. Well, it's because they go and remodel <laughs> in the interior, yeah. but not the so engine, much, you like know, that. all the nuts and bolts, so to speak, right. of the rest of the John aircraft. Oliver, John Oliver just did a whole piece on Boeing the other day, and or a couple weeks ago. It was terrifying about, about the safety. just the lack of quality and that they're more worried about the stock price than they are about the planes and the building. And then this company merged with this one, and this CEO had nothing, never worked in the aerospace yeah. area before. I mean, it's, it, Boeing's got a lot of problems. And what's the deal with the peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a terrifying two minutes caught on camera. A silverback gorilla charges toward two zookeepers inside of an enclosure at a Texas zoo. Elmo is a 24-year-old male silverback gorilla at the Fort Worth Zoo. In the video, you can see him running out from a hidden area as two assistants are inside his enclosure. One zookeeper who is positioned in a doorway has a stare down with the giant gorilla as the other employee stands just feet away from the primate. Following the standoff, Elmo turns his attention to the second employee, but was distracted and charged at a man behind a nearby window. Wow. Then you can see the silverback run off, allowing the zookeepers time to get out. You can hear frightened guests pleading and praying for both of the employees' safety during the video. It is a risky job. I think people forget that, you know, the zookeeper job when it comes to certain enclosures like this one. If, you know, the wow. doors aren't latched and the windows aren't locked, there's a good chance that, you know, those animals go in and out of their enclosures. And, and we don't know the psychological or what's in the mind of, of a gorilla. Yeah. We do know that they're extremely, they can be very, very yeah. dangerous. And the videos we've been seeing of them kind of just looking through the glasses uh -huh. and very docile and that sort of thing. And no one knows what might have made him mad whatsoever, other than the fact that he's a 24-year-old silverback gorilla named Elmo. <laughs> that would make me, that would make me really... <laughs> It's like, wait a quit, minute, wait a quit minute. tickling I, me. I'm a giant primate and I tear you <laughs> apart like that and you're going to call my me name is Elmo? Elmo? Like go with Elvis or something. Cool. Yeah, you can understand the rage, of course. Yeah, right, yeah. Indeed. And here's the thing. It's like people are shocked when wild animals do something wild. Wild, yeah. I mean, that's what Still they today. do. Uh, DJ Khaled is facing backlash for making two security guards carry him in an effort to preserve his fancy Air Jordan kicks. Social media critics jumped all over the 48-year-old music producer after he posted a video showing him waving over his security team. Two men are seen standing on either side of the All I Do Is Win hitmaker as he got out of his luxury ride. Then you can see them lift him up by placing their arms underneath his legs. The pair carried DJ Khaled to a beachside stage where he greeted thousands of fans. Word has it that the shoes retail for about 7500 bucks. Wow. However, the resale value could be 10 times that amount, which might explain why he made such a fuss about not quote, touching the ground. All right. I'll, I'll give them not wanting to walk through the sand, you know, and taking the yeah. ride. That really, though, to get off. And what was it? Not even two feet to get over yeah. another thing. Um, and it, But there was also a camera going. So keep that in mind, yes. too. He's like, Haha, I'm, I'm sure Good I'm point. goofing off and that sort of thing. Uh, well, Matt is the sneaker guy. Yes, why? What, what, what is up Talk with? To us. Why? I saw at my wedding. I had four different pairs of shoes yes. through the night. I, I, I did see the blue suede shoes. Yes. Those were nice. I had those. I had More my Jordan, changes my than shacks. share. Yes. <laughs> Uh, here's the thing. I've been wearing shoes and we end up at a beach area or something and they're yeah. like, oh, let's go to the sand. I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. Would you take your shoes off then? Or take what? them off, but then I can't put them back on because uh, the seat are sandy. Point. You don't want to get sand in them. And it, okay. it does, it's like in your car. Oh, yeah. you, ever, you ever taking yeah. your car to the beach? It's like, oh, well, it takes of forever. Course, sure. So I, I kind of, Kind of get it. But, Here. but g give me the idea of the value of these shoes. Because oh, yeah. $7,500, so would they really be 10 times that amount? Especially since he owned them, and he gets oh. stuff that's only made for him. He has a okay. Jordan contract, so he gets stuff that you can't get. 
Okay. So like M&M's had a few of those out there where they'll go for a hundred grand. So you go, all right, let's look at my agenda today. I'm going to the beach. Um, yeah. Seems like that would be when you make the decision not to wear the $7,500 shoes so that you won't have to take them off. But then it he's just... also got enough money where he can go, hey, you two. <laughs> but There's always have, that point, but right? But doesn't he have enough money to buy 10 pair of those shoes? Like, <laughs> yeah. well, so if he gets one, one dirty. They could Maybe be they're the extra, the, I would imagine, the garden shoe. It could I be even know. more. It's like, these are the ones he walked through the sand with, you know? Who knows? Ah. Uh, I, I think it was all obviously all for social media, and here we are talking about it. More Daily Flash coming up. We're going to talk about a great documentary out there. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Stolen Dough is the name of a new documentary about the real inventor of stuffed crust pizza. Let's take a look. Hello, Pizza Hut. I'm a product inventor based in Brooklyn, New York, and I have a huge opportunity for you. My product makes them eat the crust. Anybody. Pizza Hut is being sued by a family in Brooklyn for allegedly taking a bite out of their business. Pizza Hut denies it stole the family's invention. The Mangiello claim has absolutely no merit at all, and we will oppose their claim vigorously. My name is Anthony T. Mangiello. I was doing an investigation, and I would cut the thing open from the top, and you could see where the dough closed in between the cheese sticks. This was never supposed to be this way. This was supposed to be a moment of pride for the whole family. I gave them the pat, and then they stole my idea. What would Bob do? And Anthony Mangiello joins us on the show. Yeah. Welcome back, Anthony. Great to see you. Indeed. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you guys. All right, I asked you this, Anthony. What was it like actually to see your story, what you went through? And I knew it was a very hard time. Yeah. Actually made into a movie where people, you can actually tell your story to everybody. That's what it was about. And I have to tell you, even that, that uh, quick uh, clip that you made, it gives me chills. Every time I watch it, every time I hear it, I get chills up and down my spine. You say your patent was stolen. How has this affected your life? It affected my life tremendously. And the reason for the movie is to explain to people exactly what a person like myself goes through in a situation like this. Being in a David and Goliath scenario as I was and the fight that I had on my hands, I don't think anybody could realize how hard and how tough a fight it really was. And we could actually, look at your face in this, too. You can see that looks like actual video here of the deposition there, worried and such, and you can imagine so. Right now, what is the status of your lawsuit? Are you going to keep on fighting? Well, the truth is the statute of limitations has run out, and uh, I didn't pursue it because back when the, uh, the decision came in from Judge Nickerson, it was at a point in my life where, uh, let's say, the lawyers needed about a quarter of a million dollars back then in the Ooh. 90s to take this up on appeal. And I, I just didn't have that money. I also did, if you if you realize from the show, the, the movie that I lost a brother through the trial. He died at a young age. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all of a sudden things like this lawsuit, they really weren't important anymore. But as far as what I could do now, the statute of limitation has run out, but I'm not looking to get any money from anybody. That's not what I'm looking to oh, do. Okay, well, I was gonna ask you that. I mean, Pizza Hut said, hey, we'll give you, what was it, 50 grand, and but you had to give them your patent <laughs> as well. I mean, why didn't you take it? Look, here's why. It's just all about numbers. Pizza Hut at the time was doing $4.6 billion in sales. After they launched Stuffed Crust Pizza in 95, I'll tell you the statistics show, they rose to $5.2 billion. Wow. They had 8,700 outlets across the country. And this is a billion dollar concept. I mean, how do you offer me $50,000 and think I'm just gonna go away? Right. Yeah, that, I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a fair. I gotta tell you, Anthony, I love pizza, but I, I mean, the cheese on the pizza is enough for me. <laughs> you fold it into the crust, it's a little too much. I gotta be honest with you. Well, the truth is my original concept of stuffed crust pizza went far beyond just having cheese in the crust. And I happen to agree with you. I mean, I love the product. I buy the product for my family because I created it and it's beautiful to see it being sold in yeah. the market. But the original concept of stuffed crust pizza was all about different varieties of fillings in the crust. So when you're done eating a slice of pizza, you had a plus. Okay, so I grew up in the pizza business. My parents owned pizza restaurants growing up here. And uh, one thing I just thought was just blasphemy is, is people don't eat the crust. And I'm like, I have, a, I have a bonus son that we open the box up and it's just pizza. I'm like, what, what are you doing? That's the best part of the pizza, right? I want to know, like, were you, were you just sitting around and you go, yeah, cheese. Yeah, how'd the idea come to yeah. you? Let's talk, start from that point. 
It's a great question, and I'm asked it all the time. Sure. And here, I'm going to tell you how Stuffed Crust Pizza was born. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, and uh, I was uh, had a friend of mine whose mom asked me, because she knew I worked for a cheese company, if I would be able to make pizza. And she said, as an Italian uh, mother, hey, I'll, I'll make the sauce, you know? I said, of course I can do it. I'm not a, a pizza guy, but I can figure out how to spin some dough. So sure. I, I brought, you know, cheese from work. I went to the bakery and I bought dough balls. Well, the reality was when I arrived at the house, I looked at the dough balls and realized they looked much smaller than when I would see a man behind the glass, you know, spinning a pie in a pizzeria. For sure. So I took two dough balls from the bakery and I put them together. I proceeded to stretch it out and I realized how thin the bottom had to be but I didn't realize that I pushed all the excess dough to the crust area. So if you can imagine what a cooked crust looks like size-wise, yeah. I had that with raw dough. Okay. And then I put the sauce, put the cheese, I put it in the <laughs> oven, and all of a sudden I'm looking through the glass in the oven and I start to get embarrassed. Why? This crust started to grow so big, it looked like a Zeppelin or a calzone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. All around the pizza, and I was I was embarrassed. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I did wrong, and I took it out, but there was nothing wrong with it. It looked funny. So we, we cut it up into eight slices, and we started to eat it. And as I looked at this crust, and I bit into the side of it, you know, when you bite into a Zeppelin or a piece of dough like that, it'll close and then open. Right. And I saw all these nooks and crannies, and I was like, wow. The air bubbles, this, right. Inside here, that would be great. And that's truly how Stuffed Crust Makes Pizza sense. was born. Unbelievable. We just have a few seconds left, but I got to ask you this. Do you ever buy frozen pizza? And if you do, which one? Uh, if I do, it'll probably be DiGiorno. I like rising crust. I, hey, I'm the same way. I'm with you on that one. That's that's our go-to. And, and and now it's gluten-free. They don't, have, you know, it's hard to find the gluten-free. And where stuff. is the real Ray's pizza? Oh yeah, it's, no one knows that. Where, where is it? The real Ray's. <laughs> it's in New York. It's in <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do it. Absolutely, man, Anthony. I uh, think you come back to tell your story here. Stolen dough. You can check it out on Amazon Prime. It's on Roku. You can even see it on Apple TV. Or if you want to see it, they'll tell you where to. Just go to StolenDough.com and you can find out more information as well. We have more Daily Flash coming up right around the corner. No cheese crust, but just cheesy hosts <laughs> like me. Welcome back to Daily Flash. You know, there's been some really cool and innovative new products coming out of the International Kitchen Ambassador, or KBIS, as well as the IBS, which is the International Builder Show during Design and Construction Week. After all, investing in the kitchen and bath always adds that value to your home. Here to tell us all about some of the coolest tech, gadgets, and more is our very own coolest tech, gadgets, and more guy, Dr. Frank Vigiano. <laughs> hey there, Dr. Frank. Hey, Mitch, good morning. How are you, buddy? Well, I'm glad you asked, Doc, because my throat has just got this oh, really God. weird feeling going through it, Doc, and I can't, I can't seem to kick it. I don't know what it is. Take some cough medicine, Mitch. Oh, oh okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll send you to my brothers at the Mayo Clinic. They'll take care of you. All right, very good. You, of course, are that cool doctor of tech and, of course, all things cool. First off, things at the home. We can really upgrade our home with some really cool new things that are coming out, including me never having to take the clothes out of the washer and put it in a dryer. Tell me about correct. this. That's correct, Mitch. Yes, the LG washer and dryer combo. It's amazing. It's the largest front load all in one unit in its class. It's a CES Innovation Award honoree. You can wash and dry laundry in under two hours, Mitch. It operates on a standard 120 volt outlet, which means you can put it really anywhere. Okay. So with, okay, it's ventless. It has a heat pump in the dryer that uses up to 60% less energy, which is unbelievable. Now, wash and dry without transferring clothes. How about that? That's put so the clothes cool. in. It's amazing, yes. You basically set it or it sets it automatically. And that's what's so cool. And you don't even touch the lint, Mitch. You see the dispenser there? All you do is take it out, you empty it, and it's great. The detergent lasts up to 31 loads. You can fill the detergent dispenser, as you can see. So up to 31 loads, it dispenses automatically. And it's built-in intelligence. It detects load size, fabric texture, to automatically select the right setting. A large five cubic foot capacity drum, Mitch. This is amazing. You can fit a king-size comforter in there, no problem. 
The thing is so cool too. And, and now you don't have to get two, two different units. So it takes up less space, but looks just as cool and does some really cool stuff. I really, really cool. LG.com is where you want to check that out. You got a, uh, a combo oven microwave thing here that's using AI. And I want to know how AI is involved yeah. in this oven. Yeah. yeah, so AI, you know, Sharp has smart convection, has a smart convection wall oven they've introduced with basically an easy wave open microwave drawer oven. So Sharp is designing these dream kitchens, it's smart Wi-Fi enabled appliances, it's smart microwave oven drawer mitts, which is so amazing. It can be placed in almost any configuration and watch this mitt called the easy wave oven. You can open it with a basically oh, cool. wave of your hand. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And it also works with Alexa and the Sharp kitchen app. It's the first smart convection wall oven with a microwave drawer oven that works with Alexa. Again, it's easy, hands-free cooking, with voice commands, the convection wall oven is designed at countertop height, and the microwave oven basically is below for easy access. So they're smart appliances, and as, as Sharp always says, simply better living. Go to Sharp, excuse me, go to shop Sharp. USA.com. Very cool. You know, upgrading the kitchen is uh, actually made a lot easier with this new line of uh, appliances. Tell us about the signature kitchen suite. Yeah, they have a new transitional series. Really amazing. It's, this is the fastest growing luxury appliance brand in the country. It's a fusion of sophistication, high quality, craftsmanship, and technology. An innovative building camera allows home chefs to monitor their dishes. Integration of the built-in camera. By the way, how about that? A built-in camera, Mitch, so you can watch so it cooking. Cool. <laughs> yeah, there's so much AI that provides, you know, basically anybody that it's a gourmet type cook will love this. And what's interesting, Mitch, it has recognition technology, which identifies ingredients and generates recipes. The transitional series features new cooking, refrigeration, and dishwashers. Go to SignatureKitchenSuite.com for more information. Very cool. Now what's next, Dr. Frank? I need one of those ovens and I'll invite you over and make you a pie. Sound like a deal, right? Oh, um, Miss, that would be great, man. Right, invite me. We'll do laundry and cooking. Laundry and time. cooking. There we go. <laughs> you want to find out more about these and many, many pro other products, gadgets, just head to whatsnewdoc.com. Check out this interview again. Head to our website, dailyflashshow.com. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Frank. And thank you, Mitch. You Dr. Betcha. Frank's always a blast. And then there's this. You've got to look at this, or, uh, your screen for this one. An Auburn University student connected on a long-distance shot, draining the length of a basketball court putt on last week. And now he's the owner of a brand new, new car. car. Watch this. Connor Boyle putted a golf ball a total of 94 feet the putt was from one baseline to the other, and though in a tiny hole to uh, hit the opposite bat side of the basket, wow. he ended up winning a Toyota as the crowd went absolutely wild. They're all celebrating. The players were stunned. <laughs> it's the first, he's the first promotional winner this season winning a car dealership, a uh, car from a Toyota dealership. So that's nuts. I don't know if you got to see how small that hole was. That was though, man. Well, I mean, lining up a normal putt is yeah. a little tough on a green when you can read it. On a basketball court? On we hard just wood, like, well, yeah. let's see what happens. <laughs> but when these go, I mean, they, the whole place went nuts. I love when that stuff happens. And, 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 and then also, Auburn did pretty well that night yeah. playing games, so, which is great. But uh, I, I'm calling that luck. I don't know. Oh, that's still. total luck. That's luck? That's okay. total luck. All right, you're lucky because guess what? We have more Flash right after this. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I am Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash. Welcome, everybody. We love having you along yeah. here. Coming up, we got Flash Travel. We're going to give you some hotel hacks. We're going to be talking about uh, traveling around the country when you stay at a hotel. Just some things that will help your trip and your stay be a little bit better. And maybe, perhaps, you you know, uh, we see a lot of these restaurants that are merging together. They're owned by the same company, yeah. and they're merged together. I think, uh, you know, Long John Silver's in, like, maybe... Uh, Captain uh, Cap D's. Well, not or... Captain D's, but, like, maybe, like... Well, I, I see it a lot with, like, oh, Taco oh. Bell and like an ice cream place yes, or something. Yes, Taco yes, Bell yes. Pizza Hut. Okay. Pizza Hut, thank pizza you. Hut, okay. yes. Well, now, uh, looks like we are going to see another, uh, I guess, merger? mashup, merger, if Ooh, already. Mashup, I like mashup. Mashup, which yeah. is actually good with some ketchup on top of it. I don't know why ketchup. <laughs> Applebee's and IHOP are actually going to start making locations really? uh, together, and they'll have their own separate entrance, but they'll share the same kitchen. 
Um, and uh, and during the day, because IHOP is more of like a breakfast place, you would sit over where Applebee's, which opens up generally a little bit later for lunch and that sort of thing, and they'd so. open it up all together. Uh, they're going to start it off already with eight stores internationally, but they say it's going to come to the United States soon. So, and I'm the person, I, I love maybe pancakes at yeah, night, and you sure. could still, if you could be sitting on the Applebee's side and order stuff from IHOP if you want to, but uh, basically it's just two Two, two stores that this company owns. Figure, let's see what we can do together. I am so fascinated by this story. So is it maybe because they're they're uh, challenged to find workers, so they're merging? Is it cost? Is it, uh, what is it? Well, yeah. I would imagine like Applebee's, uh, for one example, Applebee's, they have hours that they're not necessarily busy, you know, like your morning hours. Sure, so but they're, they're open. But they're open, yes. so you would have that employee, okay. at least so you would have that time yeah. uh, to be able to do that. You're also sharing kitchens, which, you know, I imagine they'd probably have to scale down somewhat of the yeah. menu. You probably wouldn't have as, the biggest selection you would have at the other ones. But also with the same people, if you have, well, what do you want to eat? Let's go to Applebee's or, you know, at least you're going there. Right. You know, and maybe you want something from Applebee's and I and want And maybe IHOP. IHOP can depend on Applebee's employees and vice versa. For like lunch or something. And yeah. I think it's, I feel like we're going into this new era where you've got Toys R Us inside department stores. Yes. You've yeah, got yeah, Sephora yeah. stores inside Kohl's. You've got, you know, so you're finding these these uh, entities that are finding a different way to operate because it's less expensive. So they're going inside these stores and kind of create a store within a store within a store. Absolutely. Uh, best meme I've seen out there. Somebody say, we should open up a Waffle House inside the Home Depot. And I'm like, oh, I am for fine. that. I, I hey, just worry you know about what? the. I'm for that. I have has a very unique smell, though. Like of just that breakfast aura. Do they you do, want yes. that mixed with your like jalapeno poppers? That's a good point. Like that, that, cause that stuff just gets embedded syrup. in the wall. Yeah, that yeah. syrup smell. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Do they about. serve cocktails at Applebee's? Yeah, they have oh, yeah. they have the bar. Yeah, oh. Applebee bars. Yeah. So you could have a Bloody Mary with your pancakes, maybe. Right. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I've, I've been sorry. to many IHOPs <laughs> late you, at Yvonne. night <laughs> where there was Bloody Marys there, and, and she just apparently got in a fight. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, check this out. Alaska Airlines is at the center of another in-flight drama after a plane landed with its cargo door open. Family pets were flying in the cargo hold, and thankfully none of them were hurt. The plane was flying from Los Cabos, Mexico. Alaska Airlines said in a statement that there was no indication the door was open during the flight. While the company appeared to downplay any issues, aviation experts said that a cargo door opening on its own is a major issue. Alaska Airlines made headlines in January after a door bolt came off during a flight wow. from Oregon to Southern California. But Boeing and Alaska Airlines are already in the midst of a billion dollar lawsuit over plane safety. And the drama for airplanes and airplane safety just continues to grow. Not only the drama in the air with passengers, but also also, we're talking about point. an aging fleet of, of planes that are kind of aging out, if you will. You know, and you have, you you, you think, well, you have all these mechanics that go in here. Yeah. And a, a pilot, by law, the first thing they have to do is you'll see a pilot going around his airplane and expecting it. But those are the sort of things, like, how can you catch everything? There's exactly. no way you can do that. Yeah. And uh, as you said, aging and then if they get a new fleet, guess what? That's going to affect us as, as consumers because now we have to pay yeah. more for a ticket because I got to pay for those. Exactly. those. And you're also going to see more mergers as well. So look out for that. And I think, you know, the best part about it, no one got hurt here, yeah. but it does, if it does anything, it stops everybody and say, hey, we need to look at our planes. Let's check it out and make sure. Maybe just be on the door, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about air travel right now. I think I'm, I'm yeah. a little bit that way as well. It never have been before, but these Don't, don't worry. I got hotel hacks, so at least when you get there, that's yeah. coming up in Flash Travel like right after the break. Air, land, and sea. It's time for flash travel. You know, hotel rooms are a part of almost every trip you take, whether it's for leisure or even for work. Today in flash travel, we're going to check out some of those helpful hacks that are actually going to make your next hotel stay that much better. All right, we've talked about how hotel rooms, no matter how many stars they've been given or even rated, they'll all have germs and they have gross stuff all over it. Try to keep your mind off that for just a second and just be precautionary by using an ironing board as a suitcase stand. It's height adjustable and provides more support than the luggage that racks that actually come with the room. Now you won't have to bend over either because your belongings are actually closer to you. Plus, think of this, it's four feet more of counter space. And never, whatever you do, throw your suitcase on the bed. Think about where it's been and how many other people have done just the same all over that comforter, okay? 
Lots of germs indeed. Now, if you are phobic about the bathroom and you want to make sure that your toothbrush is going to stay nice and clean, here's a hotel hack. You can make your own toothbrush holder. Get one of the paper cups for your water and punch a hole through the bottom of it. It's going to hold your toothbrush upright, keep germs away from your mouth. Plus, it also solves the issue of the cup tilting over when your toothbrush actually spilling onto the floor, getting even more germs. Pretty easy. Need a little extra darkness in the room? Well, maybe you just want to make sure that nobody can peek in. No problem. Just use a hanger to clip your curtain shut. Now, of course, you'll have to get those hangers that have clips on them, and not every hotel has them, so you might want to travel with one if you have the room in your suitcase. Use the clips to keep the curtains together. And speaking of hangers, our next tip actually comes from a flight attendant that says when she stays in a majority of the hotels, she has to stay very creative and safe. Check it out. Another hotel safety tip from a flight attendant. The hard truth about hotel room doors. I never felt unsafe in hotels until I found out how easy it was for someone to break into my room. Simple methods can be used to gain entry. One hanger, hang it on there. Second hanger, just latch it down here. This will prevent people from using a wire to pull down the handle or a tool to open up this other third security device. All right, finally, if you've forgotten your charging block at home, plug your charger into the USB port of back of the hotel TV. Now, be careful with this one because some public charging ports actually can be tapped to download personal information from your phone and insert malware. Still, before you do this, always call down to the front desk. They usually have a USB brick that you can borrow, and it goes the same for the cord. Just be kind and be sure to give it back when you check out. Sound good? Good. As we continue to air, land, and sea, you know, a cruise might be just exactly what you're looking for. A travel expert and editor-in-chief of Cruise Critic, Colleen McDaniel, is here to tell us why on Flash Travel. It's the season of love and friendship, and there's no better way to reconnect with your loved ones than with a bucket list trip. Cruising provides the ability to visit multiple destinations in one vacation and only unpack once. Companies like Norwegian Cruise Line offer unmatched variety and value with an array of accommodations, world-class entertainment, exquisite dining, and much more. For your next vacation getaway, embark on one of NCL's fantastic European itineraries sailing from Barcelona, Rome, Lisbon, and other top cities. Or if island hopping is at the top of your list, Norwegian is the only cruise line to offer seven-day inner island Hawaii voyages from Honolulu all year round, featuring nearly 100 hours of port time to explore four islands. For a limited time, Norwegian Cruise Line is offering 50% off all cruises, plus their free at sea offer, where guests can enjoy free perks, including unlimited open bar, free specialty dining, and more. For more information, visit ncl.com. Definitely looks like a great time. Head to our website to find out more information, and we'd love to travel the world with you. Why not join us by commenting on our Facebook page? Just look for Flash Travel TV on Facebook and leave your comment. Even faster way is just to go to flashtraveltv.com, and it'll take you directly there. we got more Daily Flash right around the corner. And by the way, our website, as mentioned, always up and running for you, dailyflashshow.com. Stick around. Trending news and entertainment. You're getting it all right here on Daily Flash. This is Tim. Tim is all about time. And if you've ever had a chance to look into Tim's cold, dead eyes, you'll see that it's time for you to follow us on social media. Sure, there's 10,000 social sites out there, and we don't have the time to name them all. Seriously, just ask Tim. So take the time to look for Daily Flash TV on your favorite social sites and start following us. That's all the time, Tim. Goodbye. All right, welcome back. St. Patrick's Day this weekend. We have been waiting since 2018 for it to fall on a Saturday again, but because it's leap year, now it falls on Sunday. Okay, not to worry. Despite leap year stealing us of our Saturday <laughs> St. Patrick's Day this year, we're celebrating the best holiday of the year the day before. Instead, introducing Jameson St. Patrick's Eve oh. on Saturday, March 16th. A very made up, but very official new holiday. And to encourage everyone to celebrate St. Patrick's Eve, Jameson enlisted comedians Colin Jost and Michael Jay to actually celebrate. We have a behind the scenes interview with the comedians. Check this out. Well, I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost, and we are hosting St. Patrick's Eve with Jameson live from Times Square on March 16th. In New York City. Well, Leap Year robbed us of having St. Patrick's Day on a Saturday. So we so decided. We, we teamed up with Jameson and we thought we'd celebrate a day early. Yeah, St. Patrick's Eve. I'll tell you this, St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland, 
and now we're driving the Jameson right back into their mouths. <laughs> Jameson is also taking over Times Square on St. Patrick's Eve with the first of its kind rock drop, a Jameson version of the Times Square ball drop oh, okay. at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is midnight in Ireland. Anyone 21 and older can tune in to watch live on JamesonSPE.com. And for those in NYC, Jameson invites you to join them in person at the celebration in the Times Square Plaza between 43rd and 44th Streets with a live DJ and more from 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. Eastern. Okay, let's get a little early St. Patrick's yes. Day celebration going on here. We're going to make a Jameson ginger ale and lime cocktail. Here is what you're going to need. Okay, the recipe calls for Jameson original ginger ale, one lime wedge. What you're going to do is you're going to take all those ingredients. You're going to fill a highball glass with ice. Okay. Add one part Jameson original, Mitch. Mm -hmm. One part Jameson original. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to add three parts of ginger ale to that. As you pour that in, I'll follow it up with a ginger ale. Very nice. Beautiful. All right, continue yours and I'll All fill right. that up with ginger ale. All right. And then a squeeze of lime. There you go. Okay, there we go. Looks Beautiful. good already, right? I'll let you squeeze your lime, I'll squeeze mine, and then we'll stir it up. Here we go. Dun, da, da. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. stir, stir, stir. Okay. That's mine. We'll see. All right. All right. And then we say cheers. And in Ireland, I believe they say salancha. Salancha. Very All nice. right. There we go. For more information on how to stream the St. Patrick's Eve celebration this Saturday, go to jamesonspe.com. Mm. Well, wondering how you can stretch your dollar at the grocery store? Frozen foods might just be the answer. Check this out. A trip to the grocery store can add up. To overcome this, many shoppers are exploring new ways to save money. Chef and TV personality Jamie Gwen shares more. The frozen food aisle is bursting with innovation. You'll find healthy choices that fit any diet preference or lifestyle, and they go from freezer to oven or microwave. I love using frozen food to create a delicious, easy, affordable meal. A new survey from the National Frozen and Refrigerated Foods Association revealed nearly all shoppers find inspiration in the frozen food aisle, with four out of five consumers finding it easier to meal plan with frozen foods. Check out my Bang Bang Shrimp Lettuce Cups. I use a box of CPAC Butterfly Shrimp from the frozen food aisle, bake or air fry. Then I serve it with rice inside butter lettuce cups with a sweet, spicy sauce. It's so delicious, ready in less than 30 minutes, all at a reasonable price. My trick is to make the sauce ahead to help with meal planning. To learn more, visit easyhomemeals.com. All right, now listen, while you're focusing on your health, don't forget about your brain. Here's registered dietitian Melissa Hollis with more. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, it's so important to establish a routine to support brain health. And that's why I'm partnering with Nareva. A lot of people don't realize the impact it has for improving memory, focus, and even your mood so you just feel better all around. And there are simple things you can do for your brain every day by incorporating easy habits into your daily routine. For starters, kick off each day by taking Nareva, a brain health supplement. When taken routinely, these supplements help support up to seven brain health indicators, including focus, memory, learning, concentration, accuracy, reasoning, and mental alertness. There are three varieties of Nareva I wanna mention. Nareva Original is a clinically studied formula designed to support five indicators of brain health, including memory, learning, focus, accuracy, and concentration. All three Nareva supplements have the rock star ingredient Norofactor, a whole coffee cherry extract, and phosphatidylserine. These ingredients have five clinical trials behind them that have been shown to aid in neuronal health and fuel memory and learning ability. Next, there's Nareva Plus, which has two times the amount of Norofactor and plenty of B vitamins to support reasoning. Finally, there's Nareva Ultra, which features the five-time clinically tested hero ingredient, Cognivide, that helps support mental alertness. To complement Nareva, I highly recommend playing their brain games. I love the 30-day brain health challenge they launched. It is full of fun and simple games that help enhance cognitive potential 
by establishing a brain healthy routine. Signing up is easy. Just download the Nareva Brain Gym app and you'll see them all. So to get Nareva, go to your local pharmacy. Don't forget to take the challenge by downloading the Nareva Brain Gym app and visit nareva.com for more information. March is Nutrition Month. Here are some great healthy options for you. March is National Nutrition Month, and one easy way to support your wellness this month is by incorporating a high-quality supplement like Nature Made's Advanced Multivitamin Gummies. These are packed with 20 essential nutrients, and you can find them at naturemade.com as well as in stores at Walmart. My next tip is to focus on high-quality protein, like the Moe Atlantic Farmery Salmon, which is fresh, never frozen, and available in stores in as little as 24 hours, packed with those good omega-3 fatty acids. And my last tip is to make sure you're eating enough fruits and veggies. I'm a big fan of bird's eye because their steam fresh vegetables make it so easy. You can pop them in the microwave and they're ready to enjoy in minutes. And then for those seeking even more variety, Daily Harvest is a great option. They have a range of plant-based foods, including smoothies, pops, harvest bowls, and grains. Really makes it easy to enjoy nutritious meals without the hassle of prep. For all of these tips and more, you can head to my website, nutritionbymia.com. Welcome back to Daily Flash. A 40-year-old single mom begins an unexpected romance with the 24-year-old lead singer of a popular boy band. Ooh. This is today's must-watch movie, The Idea of You. How did you guys meet? We need to know the story. We met at Coachella. Hi. Hi. This is your trailer? Yeah, I'm in the band. We're performing on the main stage. August Moon? Yeah. I met someone tonight. I feel a little inspired. This one's called Closer. Salen, we need you up front. Okay. Like, now. I don't know if you remember me, but we met in Coachella. Yes, I remember you. Well, I desperately need some artwork. Why don't we start in the back? I like these. Ah. Uh, Fantastic. This piece is from my friend Sarah. What's it called? Unclose me. And what do you feel when you look at it? Everything. What is that song? Uh, it's nothing, really. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm too old for you. I got not. Anne Hathaway looks so young, it's hard to get by her as a 40-year-old, right? It really year old, is, because right? we were saying, it's like, she doesn't look much older than he does. She, she looks phenomenal. She certainly does. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know it was based off the book, so we'll have to check that out. Listen, that does it for our time today. We'll be back in 23 hours. We want to thank you for spending time with us. You miss a minute. You miss a lot on this show. Oh, that there is here. no question. For more information on any of today's stories, be sure to visit dailyflashshow.com. You'll find everything there, extra interviews, way to contact us, yeah. and share your thoughts. You can watch the entire episode, so yeah. it's really, really cool. We want to thank you again for joining us, and we'll be back here, same time, same place. Y'all take care, and we'll see you when we look at you. Be good, everybody.